Ooh, pardon me. And um, so just. Oh, jeez. So guys, back in our video today. Today I'm comparing a Stanley handsaw and a Pocket Boy silky saw. Now this silky saw is called a Pocket Boy because in Finney like your pocket because it's small, it folds up. This is good for hiking, especially as if you want to cut wood down for trees, say. So it's a little handsaw, it's really sharp. Okay, you want to be careful around when you handle one of these and I've got just the standing handsaw which I just use for building stuff as you saw in a couple of my, my other video making that garden for my mum so I've got three different sizes of wood so I'm going to start from the smallest and get to up to the biggest and see which one I can does better so I've just got my first piece of wood here it's a little pine piece of wood thin out of a pallet so First one I'm going to use, I'm going to be using this sandy handsaw. So I'm just going to see how quick I can do it. Let's see if I, it's quicker than the, um, the silky saw. I was just getting another seesaw then, so even it out. So let me just get a starting move. Okay, now I'll start the timer. Oops, wait, no, I won't. So I'm just going to put a knee down up here. I'll keep it still. Ready, start the timer. Three, two, one. Not too long. It's a nice, quite smooth cut. Probably a bit smoother than the silky saw, but still quick. But I don't know, the silky saw could, maybe could be smoother. So I'm just gonna get now get the silky saw. Get out of it. It's got this little waterproof, not waterproof case from Four Drive Industries. That's your there's heaps of different sizes, bigger ones. So I now use this. I'm gonna put this down here. Start a mark. I'm ready. And start the timer. In three, two, one. <laughs> could see that and that was took longer than the standing saw but this is not the ideal saw that would you, you would usually use to build stuff like this saw so this is more for like if you're in the bush and you need to cut like a tree it's easier because you can use it on the side like that and so that so it was still pretty quick that's probably that's smoother than the other saw which was surprising so I'm just going to get the other piece of wood, which is thicker. I've got a really thick and long piece. So I've just got my other piece of wood, a thicker piece. But this one, I'm going to have to put it down this end here. Because if it's there, it's too hard. And if I lean on there, it's just going to fall over like that or that way. And then I'll probably hit that. So I'm just going to do it this way. You won't be able to see it as easy. But I'm going to use the silky saw first. To make a starting groove. So I'm timing three. Two, one. Oh. Got that then. Hit myself in the leg after I got that. Took about 30, uh, probably 30 seconds. So my seahorse collapsed, which I was sawing it on was a bit unhelpful because made un uneven to make it the time go for a bit longer but I'll fix that up just now and then now I'll go get the standing one and see if this will do it quicker oh pardon me and um 
So I'll just make a starting route here. I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, three, two, one. As you saw that, that took about 25 seconds, even though the, my seahorse, my horse fell again that I was cutting it on. But as you could see, it's probably quicker with the standing one on that. But still, it's still a good saw, especially if you're in a situation where you have to use that. So I'm gonna now get the last piece, which is really thick, about this wide, but thick. Like that thick. So I've now got my last piece, a really long, thick piece. So I'm just gonna, this one will probably take a lot longer. But, so, this one I'm gonna start on the standy again. And with the silky saw, it keeps, when you keep going up and back, it keeps jagging, like getting stuck in the wood. And sometimes with this one, it keeps getting, when you go too hard, it just falls out. It takes time off. So I'll just make a starting groove. Start time in three, two, one. Set. a hard piece of wood it took about 30 seconds so that's probably the quickest I've had with that type of saw on this like thick wood and my seahorse collapsed a bit again so now I'm gonna be using my silky saw so I'm just gonna make a quick little groove and this one probably will take a lot longer but we'll just wait find out and see three two one <laughs> This one's very tiring. I'm just gonna sit up here. Oh, took about a minute and a half, nearly a minute. So, as you saw, the standing works better. Got probably on pieces of logs and wood. This would probably work better. I didn't have any of that today, I just had working wood. This still is a great saw for hunting, uh, not hunting, camping, when you want firewood, if you don't have a chainsaw. This would take longer, but come out good. This one here will get destroyed from big pieces of wood. So I've got a tree just there. As you, there's a piece of wood just there. If I use this on it, it won't take, it will take longer than this silky saw. And I'm not gonna do that, because that will destroy the tree. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you comment what you want to see me do next. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and that with the notifications. Thanks, bye.